So how long have you been doing music? You know, as crazy as it seems, it's been it's been eight years now. You know, obviously we're in we're in twenty twenty three and like when I started doing this in twenty fifteen it was something that I was just like, Okay, let me let me try this and see if it'll you know, potentially grow and become something that I could, you know, be good at. And obviously I fell in love with it. I stuck with it and you put your head down, you work as hard as you can, you do this, you go through all these different things over the course to where at this point it's been almost a decade and you're like, Wow, we're already eight years in at this point. So what got you into it? Well, it was something that I just like tried on a phlegm, you know, because before music, obviously, I tried, you know, football, basketball, soccer, all the, you know, other things that you could try in school. And it was, I was in 11th grade when I tried music, I started writing and it just, as time went on, I just fell in love with it and wanted to continuously keep writing and writing and writing. I knew someone that used to live at the end of my street, right? He had a little home studio and a setup. I went in there, you know, he helped me create my first album back in like 2016. Well, I wouldn't say album, it was a little practice project, you know what I'm saying? And since then it's just been, it's been a journey. Who would you say influenced you regarding your music? I mean, I gotta give credit to a lot of artists, but you know, most importantly, some of my favorites, you know, Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Jay-Z, Kanye, you know, a lot of people who have went on to do amazing things. And given, you know, the amount of effort and time and work that I put into this, I'd like to think that I'm on the same path. And where are you from? Where am I from? I was originally born in Denton, Texas, which is a small town right outside of Dallas, but I was mostly raised in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Little Rock, I like to think, it hasn't necessarily been a city that's like, you know, critically known or claimed, you know, worldwide, but I like to think that wherever I'm going, if it's, you know, LA or New York, Seattle, Alaska, that I'm, you know, going around the country trying to make a name for us. And what is your name? Who are you? My, you know, obviously my, you know, government name is Alec, Alec Griffith, but I go by Metallic Alec, that's my artist name. And what do you think sets you apart from other rappers? That's a, that's a great question, actually. You know, obviously in this day and age, everyone wants to rap, everyone wants to make music, and the thing I like to think that sets me apart is my drive, my work ethic. Obviously, no matter what, I'm going to keep going. You know, I was here eight years ago. I'm going to be here eight years from now. This journey is going to continue. The music is going to progress. The fan base is going to, you know, soon reach the masses and just become larger. And I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'm 25. I envision myself still doing this at 35, just on the highest level possible. So continuation, I would like to think. And also just the dedication, the passion. Like I'm actually in love with this craft. I love doing this. It is a passion. And when I'm making all these songs, it doesn't feel like work to me. So piggybacking off of that, what, what's exactly next for you? I, uh, you know, it's interesting because obviously as an artist, we make these songs. And like, you know, when you're making it fresh, it usually doesn't come out for months and months and months ahead. But I'm sitting on some of my best work right now and I feel like it's going to change everything. It's going to change the way people look at me, the way things sound, it's going to change everything. And going forward into, you know, summer 2023, going into the fall, it's basically the rest of this year, the world is going to get to see the best of me and what Metallic Alec has to offer. Like, the music is on the highest level possible and I'm really excited, honestly. I see the success of your song right now. How did all that come about? Man, that was just a song I made on a whim um, in my bedroom around January. And obviously at this point, you know, everything is internet based. You go around, you try to find people who, you know, appear to be very talented. I was fortunate enough to come across a woman named Jenna Marr and a guy named Hens. I found them on Instagram. I just go to like the singer hashtag and I just browse through videos to try to find people that I think might sound good. I reached out to them in hopes that they would help me make the song. Gratefully, they agreed. They hopped on the song. We put the song out. The song performed really well. I remember it had like 20,000 hits within the first few days. Now we're about six, seven months in. And actually today, it should be hitting 200,000 views on YouTube and it's about to hit 100,000 uh, plays on Spotify. So it's growing really fast and it was able to trigger the algorithm. And thank you so much to Spotify because they've been putting it in these big playlists. Like uh, recently they put it in New Music Friday, Australia, New Zealand, and they're putting it in like Discover Weekly. And it's just, it's growing so much. And I have the highest hopes and belief in this song because it's just, I never could have imagined what's going on right now. And I'm so grateful. So upon your journey throughout this music thing, uh, what's your craziest fan? 
Um, about four years ago, I was in this town called, uh, what was it, Concord, New Hampshire. I went there, obviously, I got a lot of love. The whole town knew who I was. People were asking for pictures left and right. But there was this one woman, I never forgot her. Her name was Maddie. She actually was bold enough to get my name tatted on her arm. She like, like I was about to leave and she like came and met me at the Manchester uh, airport. Boston Regional Airport came was like yo I got your tattoo and I was like wow this is crazy so I think if anyone is going to go that far and show their love and get the names added obviously you said crazy like obviously we're talking in a positive light that was actually pretty insane to me and uh, the music journey where has it taken you favorite uh, cities um you know, I've been fortunate enough to travel. I would like to think I've been to all the major cities for the most part here in America. I've yet to go overseas, which is something I can't wait to do. Obviously, I see us touring worldwide in the near future, but some of my favorite cities has been, you know, LA, New York, Seattle, Alaska. There's just, there's so many amazing places. And I just remember how it was like around November 2015 when there were no music and there was no songs that I had out and I put out my first song and we just grew from there. And it's crazy now because you know, we've been able to accomplish and garner some pretty amazing things. And, you know, we got a few million streams and I just can't wait till we get to the big leagues because I'm, re I'm really and I'm ready to compete. This is competition to me.